Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's time for my uh, motorcycle trip of the year. This year I'm doing a full week on the bike. We're going to go uh, meet up in Virginia really quick for a night. Then we're going to go to Tennessee, spend a couple nights there. Going to do the Tale of the Dragon, then we're going to go back up for VAM 24. Let's get on the road. You think you know me. <laughs> All right, folks, we're hitting the highway. I'm uh, on the highways the whole way this time. Pretty much do that when I go to VAM every year. And I'm doing pretty much the same route that I do going to VAM. But we're meeting up in Wytheville, Virginia. So basically just going down 79 through Pittsburgh and West Virginia. And then I'll connect with 77 at some point. And that's about it going into Wytheville. The hotel that we chose is right off of uh, 77, I believe. This is uh, Dragon Week. We were supposed to, we started off with about 10 or 12 of us in the chat that were going. And due to circumstances out of everybody's controls, a lot of people aren't going. I'm only meeting up with uh, three other people. So, I'm going to be meeting up with Technic Rides. Blue Bike and Doyle and his wife going to try and cruise and have a good day. The weather looks great for today. I tell you folks, having cruise control on my Scout 60 was the best, uh, one of the best things I ever could have done for this bike. I get to rest my hand up pretty good. Um, I never did a proper 50,000 mile review video for this. Look, I did a 15,000, I did a 30,000. I'm at 51,000 plus now. I hit 50,000 this year already. I'm thinking I'll probably be close to 54,000 by the end of this trip. I know I'll do at least uh, 1,500 miles worth of just travel time, not including any riding down by Taswell. So, you know, if my math is correct anyway. But this bike's been really enjoyable. Uh, the only thing I've had to change so far you know, other than the stuff to make it more comfortable for the long rides. Tires, oil, and then I just did a video about a month or so ago on brake pads for it. That's it, man. I still got to do the front forks. I've said that in multiple videos over the last couple of years. Look, I'm busy. I'm always busy working on shit. I got the camper. Camper's got to be uh, a couple things I got to do to it soon. When I get back from this trip, probably I'll focus on that. For a bike that's not supposed to be a uh, traveling bike, it's been great for me, so knock on wood, uh, it'll get me through a couple more years till I can buy something new. I'm not really in the position right now to buy a new bike, so even though the new Indian Scouts came out, haven't been able to see one in person. I might be able to see one in Tennessee. I know Nick and I talked about stopping at a couple dealerships, possibly one in Knoxville. Uh, one is State Line Power Sports, I believe. That's right on the Tennessee-Virginia border. We're definitely going to do that one probably tomorrow on the way to Maryville, Tennessee. So, I'd love to see a couple of bikes in person. I'm undecided if I want to get another Scout or if I want to get a Chief. You know, most people say, oh, get the Chief if you're going to do the miles, but I don't know, man. I've, I've enjoyed riding my... India Scout 60 uh, across the country and to Virginia every year. It's been a great bike. You know, they didn't expand the uh, fuel mileage, or they didn't expand the fuel tank much on the new Scouts, but I think they're more efficient. They'll definitely get better gas mileage than the Chief. The Chief's just a torque monster. You know, torque and horsepower numbers are higher than on the Scout, more or less if you get the 116 but I don't know I know weight wise the new scouts are slightly lighter I just from what I'm hearing they get way better gas mileage not that these got bad gas mileage I tend to average in the 44 miles per gallon range on this so but hey if I got like 54 miles per gallon that makes a lot on a three gallon tank 30 miles per gallon I could easily cut out probably one or two stops on the way down to Taswell every year or wherever my trips are. It would have been nice if they went with a four gallon tank, but they tried to keep the traditional lines the same. 
they just expanded it slightly. So. Every year that I've gone to VAM, this bridge has been under construction. Thank God they finally got it done. But I always like using my 360 camera when I go through this one. Here's a pretty good uh, footage. I have some stuff on TikTok and my previous YouTube videos, but finally uh, no construction, or at least, you know, any rad construction. Looks like they got a little bit of construction coming up, but at least it's not on the bridge anymore. That's a pretty cool bridge. One of many bridges around Pittsburgh. All right, folks, we're rolling into Virginia. I've had two stops for gas so far. One for a snack and a pee break. This is usually the prettiest section of uh, the ride when you first cross over before you get to like Morgantown and stuff. Still on 79 South. It's always pretty through here. For a highway, it's a good ride. People say riding highways is boring. I tell you what, come ride this section of uh, 79 in West Virginia. Not too many straightaways in this one part. You're pretty much going big sweepers the whole way. 75 miles an hour, dodging traffic. Construction hasn't been bad this year. This has been the best ride down. And no rain so far. Nothing predicted for today anyway, but yeah, this has probably been one of the best rides down to Virginia. 79 here in West Virginia has plenty of rest stops and gas stations too. So even when you got a bike like this, that uh, you need to stop maybe every 100 miles, you're usually good to go. It's not like out west where you better stop or you're not going to stop for a couple hours. So, but yeah, this section is very, a lot of sweeping curves. All right, we're on US 19 right now. This is a three lane. Funny thing is, uh, last year I came through here, I was getting completely soaked. I had a rain suit on and stuff, but I had to go in that right lane quite a bit. Still was going faster than the semis, but man, it rained so hard. There's no place to hide out here too when you get a hard storm. There's no overpasses, nothing. No place to pull off really. Scenic overlook, but yeah, I'm making good time. I've still got about 135 miles left, give or take. I'm gonna end up getting to the hotel before I even uh, can check in. So I'm still enjoying the curves through West Virginia. So, but yeah, got soaked through here last year. Big difference this year, it's hot. I'll take the heat. My head's not quite cooking in here, so it's not that hot. All right, folks, we're now going over New River Gorge Bridge. Like as always every year. I wish I had my 360 camera on if I would have thought about it earlier. I probably could have got some good views from uh, the camera. Alright, maybe next time if I'm smart enough to remember to put it on there. But I got less than 100 miles to go now for the uh, trip today. Get to meet up at the hotel. Nick was almost there. I checked Instagram my last little break got one little short stop coming up getting really hungry I didn't really eat dinner I usually stop and have a couple snacks at a couple of my stops but I'll be uh, hungry for some dinner tonight that's for sure still winding through West Virginia almost into Virginia I only have like 30 miles left another mountainous highway range here a lot of traffic Sunday but the, this part of the ride's almost over. I'm almost into Wytheville. I had 32 miles on the highway left. And hotel's right off the highway, but still winding through the mountains. Coming down another side of whatever mountain. Made my last gas stop for the day. Probably have to get something by the hotel, so I'm ready for tomorrow. But This is something since I've been coming down here, I've been wanting to do for years. The problem is I always get off at that exit to go to Tazewell back there, so I never get to go through the tunnels. So I finally get to take the tunnels through the mountain. This will be a first for me. Pretty awesome. Yeah, there's tunnels in Pennsylvania, but not around me. You know you have to do it. Never had a 
had a chance to go through the tunnel. So, bike sounds pretty good in here. Imagine doing this with no lights. At least on the wall, just have your headlights and stuff on. That'd be interesting. Yeah, I never got to do this tunnel. I finally did. I won't be doing it on the way home, though, because I'll be coming from that Bluefield exit, unfortunately. I always just miss this, like I said. Pretty cool. I've been in the tunnels in the car before, down by Pittsburgh and stuff, and of course going into New York City a couple times. Out into the sunshine. Yeah, I got about 25 miles right, to go. Tunnel number two. Two times on this trip. Traffic sucked in this section though. I don't know what was going on, but. This is what's been going on because everybody just starts slowing down. I don't know what the hell's going on, why there's such a long line of fucking people going slow, but... Kind of stupid. going on the last 10 miles or so of 77. I'm almost there. Got to enjoy two tunnels anyway. And I'm glad I'm not in that lane. They're backed up all the way from the tunnel. I've already gone about two miles from the tunnel. Holy shit. I don't have to go home this way, but damn, man. It's blocked. Traffic on this side's going good. I'm allegedly going 80 miles an hour. Two and a half miles. That freaking line is packed on that side. Damn. So glad I'm not going that way. Whew. Especially after a long ride. You get down to the last uh, two miles of the ride and get stuck in that shit. Man, that's got to suck. But it's Sunday. Everybody's probably coming back from their family vacations. And it was 4th of July weekend, so... I'm sure a lot of people are heading home to go to work. I'm heading away from home to get away from oh, work. Oh damn, he beat me this time. You beat me this time. Last time I beat him though. 